Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay in the energy highest of vibrational energy. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Uh, let's go ahead and get into our terror reading. We, <laughs> sorry for my absence. It's been a little technical difficulties, a little behind the scenes. Hopefully the... Hopefully the worst of it is over. If it's not, we'll uh, deal with it as we go. Um, anyway, so I had a dream. There is something where it's like there's a young gentleman that's been hired to do something to a feminine energy. Um, I had this dream where it's like this young lady is walking like by a, like the main road, right? Um... Like, she's on the sidewalk, and there are a bunch of cars going by, and this man, like, m maybe in his mid to late 20s, maybe early 30s, he approaches her, and he starts attacking her, and she's trying to figure out, like, what's going on. She's like, what, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? And he said, they sent me to do this to you. Um, and he did something to her for once, and then he said he had to do it the second time. He said, I've gotten you once, i got to get you the second time. Um, and he has some like metal, two metal things and he was trying to put like one inside her skin or in her body in some way. And he th he had thrown one at her and he said, I got you once, I got to get you again for it to be finalized, uh, for you to be done. But I don't think he realized that the metal had not gone inside of the lady. Like it had just fell on the, on the ground, but she didn't say anything. She just kind of stood there watching him. Um, kind of confused like what is, what the heck is going on? What does he mean that they sent him to to uh take me out or something um but it's that like he was just very determined to do what it is he was hired to do, but at the same time, I picked up like he didn't want to do it, but I think he had been paid to do it, or I don't know if he was being forced to do it. he just didn't seem that he wanted to do it, but it's like you know like you're just doing a job because it's a job. That's the kind of notion I got from him. He's like, I don't really want to be doing this, but I have to do it. It was something like that. So, for someone out there, be careful. There is a young gentleman being sent towards you to do you something. And it is something that's playing. I think there's a woman behind the scenes. Or it could be an organization or something that's behind the scenes. That's upset that things are not going their way. Or maybe they didn't get wish fulfillment. And it's leading to a lot of conflict amongst them. They may be pissed off that things are being balanced for you. Or you may be... Uh, that you're getting some type of job offer or some type of security or you have some type of security coming in and this is what they've been trying to block for you um so maybe they were working with one party before and their party decided that they don't want to be a part of whatever is going on so these people may be out here desperate to do you something and maybe they found some young energy that is willing to do anything for money um and it's now trying to find his way to you and it's odd because i had that dream and then not too long after that i went to like the bank uh, uh i think like a few days ago and i typically tend to keep to myself like i'll typically have one of my kids with me when i go out like either one of my either the the middle one or the last born uh I mean, or the first born one of them will be with me so we went to the bank and we See this guy, he's by the build, sitting on the ground by the building, and somehow he ended up in there. So we're in the building, and I'm filling out my bank slips with my information, and the guy is standing there watching me. And I kind of feel uncomfortable, but I don't want to make a scene, so I just kind of put my finger over my account information, my account number, uh, so that he wouldn't see it, because he was like staring directly at the paper. I don't know if he was like trying to get some type of information, but I didn't make a big deal out of it. I just filled out my slip. Um, went to stay in the line, waiting for my turn to be called up, right? Well, the guy, he ended up not really even filling out his paper. He just took the, the slips and stuffed it in his pocket, but was standing there behind me the whole time watching me. 
So then I turn around to glimpse because there were people sitting by the window and I'm like, let me just see, like, you came back there. Am I tripping or something? So I turned to look at the people by the window and this brother starts, like, going off. He said, what you looking back here for? You trying to steal something? And I'm just, like, confused. I'm like, sure, I've been called a lot of things in life, but I see you being one of them. Listen, you look like you're about, you are as broke as myself out here. I, ain't, I don't, you don't got nothing I need to steal from you, but... It just kind of threw me up because, like, this was a young guy, too. Like, probably, like, 5'8", no more than 5'9". And he just looked, like, real, like... It's like he was trying to start something for me to say something so he could have a reason to do something. And I'm just, like, I'm just going to act like he's not there. So I just turned back around, ignored him the whole time. He goes to get, like, two bags of popcorn, sit by my, my daughter... Uh, cause there were cheers on the other side of the bank and he's sitting there by my daughter and I'm just like worried the whole time that please don't say anything to my child. I don't want no problems. Like if you do or touch or say anything to my kid, like we, we're going to have problems. But he just kept staring at my daughter. She was like, she was later telling me that she just felt uncomfortable because like he just sat there like looking at her and he's he's he'll like smile and then turn up like it was like a robotic thing like he was trying to force it like he'll smile and then turn it up smile and but the whole time he's staring at her and then every now and then he will look at everybody else in the bank and smile and then go back to his like it was just a weird experience it's like this brother was on something like he was sent to do something but it's like he didn't get the reaction that he wanted from us. So it was that we just kind of left him in there. When I was walking out the bank, I told my daughter, I said, that man is crazy. Like, he tried to say, like, I was trying to steal from him. And I'm, like, a whole mile away from him. He's standing at the <laughs> at the aisle lane in the middle of the bank. And I'm at the line, to, at the front of the line. And he's trying to say, like, I'm trying to steal something from him. But it's something like that you could be going through. I'm just using that example for so whoever this pertains to, so that you are alert and aware that people may still be trying, like something is over, but there's like a group or there's someone behind the scenes that wants to keep something going. So you just need to be very vigilant and alert. Don't, you don't need to respond to everything if I was you. Like just ignore what people are doing. It's like people are trying to amp up some type of projection to get a reaction out of you. But you are fine. Like your ancestors are watching over you. So just, you know, if, do what I do. Just, like, just have like a mental funeral. Even if they're there, act like they're not there. It's like, it's like selective observation, selective, uh, uh what do I call it? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> There's something that I do where it's like, I choose to uh, acknowledge your presence. Once you do something or say something that don't sit right with me, selective uh, acknowledgement. I'm not going to acknowledge you because I don't want no problems because it's going to be problems if I respond. So maybe just do that. Don't respond to people. Just let them do what it is that they want to do because I think there's something where it's like a group is trying to uh, farther something, trying to take a hold of something or trying to trying to just destroy someone or just it's there's something they're trying to dismantle in your life like they don't want you receiving something and i see like the eight of pentacles out here they don't want you receiving some type of offer uh some type of uh opportunity and you may have people creating scenarios behind the scenes to make it seem like you are a problem or something like that and whoever wants to give you this opportunity then is going to look at you like you're the problem even though you're not really doing anything to people. Is that people are creating scenarios to make it seem like you're doing something to get that reaction out of them. But when it's really the other way around, they're doing something to get a reaction out of you. And if they're not getting the reaction they want out of you, then it's a problem because you're showing up as content. With the nine of cups which means you're someone that's happy in life you're content you don't have to have a lot of money the nine of cups energy tends to be people that are content in life they don't have to be wealthy they could have all the comfort they need in life just not maybe they're maybe they're single and they're happily single or getting ready to mingle or something like that so that's the energy you're showing up in that you're content and not worried about what's going on with everybody else and it has people bothered because they're doing things behind the scenes of you to get a reaction out of you but it looks like it's causing them more problems because you're still secure like you still have 
whatever this opportunity is or your job is still secure or you are still secure in life, right? You're showing up as a queen of pentacles, which means that you are someone that's very much like a mother figure, wife figure, down to earth, humble, business savvy, all of the other wonderful characteristics that women possess and things like that. Women that are in the upright and have self-esteem and, you know, care about themselves in the communities and people that are in their lives. Um, so this may be something that's bothering people or it may be something where it's that people are in competition with you or people just don't want you to receive some type of opportunity, but it looks like it's still coming to you or they just don't want you to be secure or dedicated or disciplined to your calling, your work, whatever it is, your aspirations, but it looks like you still are. So people are fighting about this offer that's coming towards you and it's coming from an emperor. You may know this emperor, you may not know him. But he does want to work with you and look, looks like you're going to be stepping into a Ten of Pentacles or you're working towards a Ten of Pentacles. You may be building something by yourself and maybe there's an emperor that's coming towards you to invest into you. And maybe these people don't want him doing that. you got people in competition with you for something that is yours. Uh, for some of you, you build something that people want to have or there's something someone knows that they can build with you. And yeah, it's coming to you. There's something pe uh, someone wants to build with you, but people don't want him to give you this opportunity. You're showing up in your Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Swords energy. That means you're about your business. Mentally, emotionally, whatever way. You have a lot of common sense and you are very, very uh, uh, emotionally... You have a lot of emotional intelligence as well. That's what the Queen of um, Pentacles tends to have a lot of the time is emotional intelligence. So you're showing up as the Queen of source as well which means you have both of those balance you're someone very articulate it may also with that coming out it may also mean that there's someone in the background of you that does not want someone to see you as intelligent uh, articulate or someone that's worth even investing in or someone that should receive any type of accolades it's all out of jealousy and animosity because oftentimes that's the only reason people will go to this extent to block you from receiving something when especially you're not paying these people any mind because there's not of course energy has to do with people that kind of live in their own world and not worried about what's going on with other people they're content with what it is they have other people seem tend to be worried worried about this this kind of energy so whoever is coming towards you or whoever wants to work with you um, maybe going through some type of emotional loss right now, maybe going through some type of betrayal as well. Um, this could be someone that maybe just got out of a really horrible relationship. Maybe someone betrayed them. I saw the five of cups when I was just shuffling my deck. Um, and maybe this person is going through some type of painful experience where they've gone through a breakup. Maybe they committed to someone and whoever they committed to did not, you know, reciprocate that loyalty or whatever it is equally maybe someone was just playing games with this person and they found out and the relationship is over so now this person may be coming towards you to have some type of solid and traditional connection and contract with you someone is using all of their strength to make their way to you it could be a king of pentacles king of swords kind of energy that wants to collaborate with you and he's wishing to work with you especially uh, with the fact that he knows about you when it comes to your work ethics, your discipline, your commitment, your loyalty, your skills, and things of that nature. You're showing up in a lot of beautiful energies, and I think this is what this person has been looking for. Uh, so this has people pissed up behind the scenes because this is good karma playing out for you. And this emperor, he sees you as a queen of wands. There is absolutely another queen of wands behind the scenes that's going through some type of ending. This could be the one that may have betrayed this emperor, has been playing some type of role in his life that is not genuinely her. So he may have, I was going to say he may have walked away from her and the, not, the eight of cups is out here. So he may have walked away from her. There's something where it's that this woman's family, they were all collaborating. Either her family, her friends, co-workers, or whoever. They were collaborating with this woman to either end you or do this emperor something. She betrayed this emperor heavily is what I'm uh, figuring out, uh, picking up on. Um, and him walking away is his justice. I'm telling you, 
It's his justice. He is listening to his intuition and choosing to have this new beginning. May want to communicate with you about some type of betrayal that took place. I did mention something about betrayal. And this has led to some type of ending of a chapter between him and someone. And it has people trying to stop him from connecting with you. But it looks like it will still take place when it's supposed to. Uh, this could be someone that you are meant to be with. This could be someone you have a twin flame connection with because I keep seeing this car a lot. Um, so maybe this is not someone you are quite aware of or this could be something that shocks you when you find out who this person is, who this gentleman is that is interested in you, wants to invest in everything that you are doing or wants to invest in your work because he sees you as like a, a good business partner, someone that, you know, there is like a good return on investment or something like that is what I'm hearing. But you got people just fighting about this uh, promotion that's coming towards you, this elevation. They don't want it coming towards you. This is absolutely someone that you're supposed to be partnered up with. I think this is something that should have happened a long time ago. But all of these people have been causing hindrances to block this man from connecting with you. I'm telling you, you're receiving a solid commitment. And you don't know who it's coming from. You do have another Queen of Pentacles within this community that's planning on doing something. May want to listen to her intuition and let go of something. It's that someone is still trying to pretend to be something that she's not because she wants this man to choose her or uh, to stay with her. Uh, someone may not be doing very well as well. Something may be off with her mental. I'm, a, I'm a picking up on. Because someone has gone buck wild crazy when it comes to trying to stop two people from coming together. And it looks like these two people are supposed to have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. And that's what she's trying to block from happening. She may have some type of legal issues coming in as well. It's going to need to find some type of lawyer or something like that. But this woman is planning something behind the scenes and has been paying someone to do something um, in order for things to go in her favor or to just block you from receiving something but it looks like you still will be receiving whatever this is someone does want to work with you collaborate with you meet with you and talk to you about maybe their intentions for you their love their emotions for you and things like that and that they want to work with you there could be some type of meeting going on amongst a group of people um be careful because they may be sending uh, a fraudulent character towards you to give you some type of fake offer. You do have a solid offer coming in, but they're trying to send a fake person towards you with a, with a fake offer so that if you accept that fake offer, then you're going to miss out on the offer coming from this King of Swords, King of Pentacles energy. This King of Swords and this King of Pentacles are the same, per is a, are the same person, okay? It's the same person. This is this King of Swords taking action and being practical about the situation to come towards you to give you some type of offer. You may have a Queen of Swords. I think you are this Queen of Swords. And basically when I pick up on these two, it's always the two of you showing up as a match. King and, King and Queen of Pentacles, King and Queen of Swords. You always show up the scene. Um, and this person may be coming into some awareness now that you and him have some type of contract together. He may see you as a Queen of Cups. Uh, maybe people try to stop him from coming towards you. He does have a lot of emotions for you. There's something where this man needs to be very much alert and vigilant about a King of Cups in his energy. This is not a friend that I'm picking up on. This King of Cups has been uh, uh, working or collaborating with a group of people behind the scenes against this King of Pentacles, King of Swords energy to block him from connecting with you and this is someone he will have known or he has known for a long time uh this could be someone that's in his life who is religious or pretends to be religious something of that nature but this person whoever is in his life this gentleman could be a friend of his a long time friend that typically puts himself out to be a king of cups but he's not really a king of cups this is someone that's a facade it's a fraud that has been uh, pretending to be something he's not for a very long time. And this King of Cups in his life could be falling from grace. Or there could be some type of revelation going on about him. You and this King of Pentacles, King of Swords energy coming together. 
having this genuine love of reciprocity is going to lead to some type of solid commitment. He could be a leader in his community as well. And this is going to lead to some type of brand new passionate beginning for the both of you that will be very successful. And you may have people behind the scenes that are very angry um, about you receiving some type of communication or you receiving this offer because they don't want you and this person to be together. It could be maybe because you two have different ways of thinking or maybe you're from two different sides of life or something of that nature. Maybe from two different sides of the tracks. Um, maybe he comes from the wealthy side. You come from the uh, poor side. Maybe he comes from the religious side with the higher fan out here. And you come from the spiritual side. Whichever one it is, um, it looks like people don't want the two of you coming together. But I think something has already been decided by the spirit realm. This is justice. This is balance. This is destiny playing out for you. Um, and this man knows that he wants to have a brand new beginning with you. Maybe trying to figure out how to get in contact with you as well. I'm telling you, you're going to have the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Four of Wands. So this is something that's going to start off as a work relationship, turn into a Ten of Cups and then Four of Wands, which means you two will end up getting married, maybe building a community of your own, or just being really happy and content together. And you two are receiving this because of your strength, because I think this is something that was supposed to happen a long time ago, but people have been working hard behind the scenes to stop the two of you from coming together. And it looks that the universe is still uh making sure that it happens now i know we have this king of swords with the seven of swords under him but i'm not getting like a, 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 a malicious intent with him there's something where he has to be a little bit crafty with how he goes about things and this is why he's showing up in this uh king of swords seven of swords energy someone has to be a little bit sneaky with how he moves because he, he's surrounded by people trying to stop him from being able to make an offer to you. So it's like he's being, there's some type of gatekeeping going on when it comes to this man. Uh, and maybe he's aware of it now and he has to be uh, very much careful or mindful of how he, move, he moves. He may also be aware that um, something is going on in your situation or something is going on with you. People may be trying to bring you problems, cause you problems, and he's trying to maybe figure out how to maneuver his way through that. Uh, but you are going to receive some type of communication in an interesting way um, that's going to lead to wish fulfillment. You and this man will end up meeting together, have some type of get together to have a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, someone may be trying to ask if they can see you. It's like, can I see you? Can I talk with you? Can we talk or something like that is what I'm hearing. Um, and maybe you're going to say yes, which I think you will. And when you two have this meeting, it's going to lead to some type of closure for the both of you and be able to move on with your life. This man is a king of swords, king of pentacles energy. And this is the type of energy typically people will see him in. But he, he will also show up as a king of cups because he has a lot of emotions and passion for you. So it may even surprise you because this is not someone you will be expecting to have emotions for you. For some of you, you may have three people, three masculines that are interested in you. You're a queen of swords and you got a king of cups who will be from your past. You got a king of pentacles and a king of swords that will be interested in you. The king of cups, I would not... I'm just putting my two cents in. I really shouldn't tell people what choices to make. If someone's from your past, they're from the past for a reason. I typically advise my supporters to leave the past in the past and be forward moving. Don't hold any animosity in your heart. For me especially, I'm working on forgiving someone from my past right now. So, um, I, I don't have any animosity towards this person, but it's more so me making sure that I'm doing the inner work to let go uh, of whatever happened, whether I did something, he did something, I'm making sure to work my way through those emotions and just let go of it. Uh, so I wouldn't go back to the past. You should always be forward moving. Be also very careful though with this King of Pentacles and King of Swords. The King of Swords can tend to be people that are very controlling um, and they tend to try to have things kind of go their way. And you need to remember that you are not an object. You're not someone's child uh, with this person coming towards you with an offer. This is someone that wants to be with you. So you may want to be careful with that. You could also have for some of you a king of swords and a queen of swords working against you to 
hinder some type of communication, block some type of communication from coming towards you. You're supposed to receive some type of offer, uh, uh, some type of proposal, some type of uh, opportunity. And there could be a king of swords in the midst of you two blocking communication from coming in so that you don't receive this communication about this offer or this king of pentacles uh, wanting to work with you, wanting to give you this offer, whatever it is, it'll work out in the end. I wouldn't hurt my head about it. The universe has already destined this to happen. So you could have someone uh, behind the scenes that's trying to contact you and then you have someone in there that's trying to block that communication from coming to you. So just stay vigilant. Don't try to do anything to make things go in your favor. The universe is taking care of it. Um, and everything should be okay. But thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. And goodbye for now.